super friends and welcome to DC TV Talk. This is the show where we talk all things Supergirl, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow and Black Lightning. And in today's video we're going to be discussing the final two bust matter humans who have now been revealed for The Flash Season 4 going forward who are going to appear in the next couple of episodes. So let's discuss. In the most recent episode of The Flash which came out last night, otherwise entitled Run Iris Run, we saw at the very end Harry Wells use the thinking cap which he was working on all episode, which is an evolution of Clifford DeVoe's thinking cap, and he used it to decipher the names of the final two bus metas, uh, and based on the promo that we're getting for next week's episode, we can find out who those two bus metas are, and that's what we're going to discuss in today's video. In regards to episode 16, Run Iris Run, it was a pretty weak episode of The Flash as far as the season has gone, it's probably one of the weaker ones. It just had some cool ideas and some cool stuff going on with it, but it really didn't execute anything that well. And the whole idea of Iris being speedster, while interesting, was not executed at all. And it was just one of those things that was there for the fans of Iris and the fans of West Allen, but it really didn't do much for the plot. It was a bit just meandering and I didn't really enjoy it too much. It was okay. It was perfectly watchable, but nothing I'd really ever want to go back to anytime soon. But who are these two boss metahumans? Well, I'll start off with the first one, which is Null. Now, the next episode of The Flash is called Null and Annoyed, which is, that's the episode title, and this refers to Null, the next boss meta. Now, they've actually gender swapped her, so basically Null is actually a male in the comics, but he's actually been gender swapped, so he's now a female. Um, she's a very extravagant looking character, if you look at her design, you know, she's got these very bright, um, kind of, you know, model-esque clothing and you know, bright green anime hair. Uh, so a very interesting design, but I do like the look. Uh, but in terms of her character and what she can do, her power is actually gravity manipulation. So what she can do is she can change gravitational pull and gravitational fields for, some, for certain individual people. So what I mean by that is she can't just change gravity in the entire Earth or within a certain area. She can instead choose whose gravitational pull to mess with. So for example... Uh, she can literally point at Barry and use the gravity to, you know, take away his gravitational pull to the Earth to the core to the Earth's core, and he just go flying up. And we see a bit of that in the in the promo for next week. And this is going to provide some funny moments, especially between uh, Barry and Ralph. Um, so this is an interesting power. This is a very creative one uh, to actually manipulate gravity. I think that's definitely very very cool. And it's also quite dangerous because again, in the promo as we saw, uh, she sends Barry, you know, hundreds and hundreds of feet in the air, and he's just falling. And Ralph basically looks like he's going to have to try and catch him. Uh, so that is, again, very dangerous. But again, a very uh, interesting power. A very uh, interesting dynamic one, which I didn't really see coming. And I quite like the idea of this boss meta just being able to control gravity for different people. Because again, controlling gravity for a whole area is bad enough. But then it, actually being able to do it for individual people is actually quite a funny idea. Just to get rid of people who you don't really like or are just getting on your nerves. You can just send them up in the air. I think that'd be quite entertaining. So I feel as well the actress who's going to be playing her, which I believe her name is Bethany Brown. Uh, she seems to be having a lot of fun with this role which I like. And also, uh, she can also manipulate gravity for herself, which I found interesting. So while she can do it for other people, she can also change her own gravitational field, which I think was very cool indeed. We see in the trailer, she is actually using it to like climb along walls and stuff, which was pretty interesting. So she's going to be able to use that to her advantage when fighting the Flash and the elongated man. She's going to be able to, uh, you know, change gravity so she can move away from them and kind of just go wherever she wants. I think that's a cool idea. And I think she's going to be providing a lot of awesome scenes in this episode so i'm actually pretty excited to see where they take this character also what's interesting to know is that she's actually contracted to be well based on the character description now these things can change and shift around but in the original character description it does say that this character is going to appear a couple of more times uh in the season in a recurring role so that could mean a couple of things one it means that perhaps barry is going to manipulate her into helping her helping him against devoe like they've done with melting point or we could see her become the next host body for Clifford DeVoe and she will be the new thinker for, you know, an episode or two. Um, in terms of which one I'd probably go for, I reckon it'll be, uh, it'll, I reckon she'll be Clifford DeVoe's new host body just because I don't think they're going to want that many boss metas to be helping them in the fight against DeVoe just because they've already got, I mean, they've already got Ralph, of course, and now they've got Melting Point uh, who was in, introduced in Run Iris Run. So they've got quite a lot on their plate as it is. Uh, I'm interested to see where they take Matthew Kim as a character, but in terms of this character, in terms of Null, I don't think they'll be going anywhere except for maybe Clifford DeVoe using the body for an episode or two. 
And then the other best boss meta human who's going to be introduced this season is Folded Man. Now, Folded Man is a very interesting character in the comics, and I feel is going to be a very difficult character for them to portray in live action on The Flash. Uh, his powers involve manipulating dimensions. He can travel himself between the second, third, and fourth dimension, which is a very interesting power, and I'm very excited to see how they do this. I was very interested in the same way I thought when they announced that they were going to do the Elongated Man. I was thinking, how are they going to use that on a TV budget? And I have the same opinion here with Folded Man. Uh, his name is Edward Gauss, who they did name drop, so they're not gender, gender swapping this one. This is Ed, uh, Edward Gauss. Um, he is also, I believe, currently Godspeed in the comics. Now, obviously, I know all the fans are going to go, oh my god, Godspeed, but let's just calm down for a minute. Um, so he can basically manipulate his physical body, which is interesting. Um, he does have a suit in the comics, which is a very technologically designed suit. He is a university graduate, so he built the suit himself. Uh, so in the second form, he is totally flat. Um, so he just isn't basically solid. He can't be hit, which is very interesting. And is pretty much invisible when seen from the side. You know, he's literally just a line, essentially. And then his, you know, 4D form is uh, very powerful. Um, and then 3D, if you're just a 3D being, it's just normal. You know, 3D beings is what me and you are. And then 4D appears to be very, very powerful. So he can see anything in our dimension from all directions, which is also another interesting. And he can also open portals, which I don't know if he'll be able to do that in the comics. I mean, or in the show, sorry, because again, that is a bit overpowered. And also that's kind of what Cisco is about. Um, so this is very interesting. Now, why is the folded man being introduced? Well, one, he's a very interesting character to see done for one. But also with all this dimensional stuff, this does make me think that he's going to be used. I feel this guy is going to be manipulated by Team Flash to help take down DeVoe. Because, of course, we know that DeVoe, uh, his little base takes is actually in the pocket dimension. He's, it is in a different dimension. So if the folded man can travel between different dimensions, perhaps Cisco or Barry or Harry, someone's going to click that this guy, if he can see through all these different dimensions, maybe he can see where DeVoe actually is and we can get the jump on him. So I feel that's where folded man's going to come into it. Um, as far as I'm aware, we don't know who's playing him yet, and also we don't know what episode he's in. Um, we just know he is going to appear. Um, now, I don't know if they've necessarily stated either if Edward Gauss is going to be the Folded Man or if he's going to be Godspeed. I believe that it is going to be Folded Man. I'm 99.9% pr .9 sure it's Folded Man, but as far as I'm aware, correct me if I'm wrong, they have never actually specifically stated if it's going to be Folded Man or Godspeed. Um, personally, I prefer it to be Folded Man. As much as I love Godspeed, I feel we need to wait a couple more seasons for him. You know, season five at the very earliest. I think season six would be better. Um, just because, you know, before we go back to a speedster villain, I think we need a bit more of a break. Like, I'd love to see the rogues. I'd love to go full on with the rogues uh, before we get another speedster villain. And this guy actually is a rogue, which is interesting as well. So he could be sort of playing there. Uh, but I think Folded Man is going to be a very interesting addition to the cast, and I can't wait to see how he's done, who plays him, and how this TV budget is going to show these powers. And also the fact, like I say, I feel he could be quintessential in the fight against DeVoe when it comes down to it because of his dimension-hopping powers. So, these two boss metahumans, these last two, are going to be very cool, and I'm very much excited to see how they are going to develop going into the final few episodes of the season, because we are kind of in the back half now. Uh, you know, the next, next uh, Flash episode is in, which is doesn't come back till april flash is on break at the moment which sucks but it is on break until april the 10th and then you're on episode 17 so you've got you know only about six episodes left after that so we actually this season has gone by pretty quickly but i'm really excited to see how these two characters can be used and potentially manipulated for the following season going on so what do you guys think about Null and the Folded Man, or potentially Godspeed, if that's wishful thinking, uh, joining the Flash? Like I said, I think these two boss metahumans are going to be awesome additions. I can't wait to see how they're done, especially Folded Man. And I feel like the way they're going to be used in terms of the Clifford DeVoe and the Thinker is very interesting to look forward to, and also in terms of the effects. It's going to be very cool. Um, I've, I actually have quite enjoyed the boss metahuman storyline in the Flash this season, though I think the Flash Season 4 has been extremely up and down. I have really enjoyed what they've done with the bus metas, um, and this does kind of shut down my theory that Cecile was a bus meta, so uh, I'm going to have to eat my words there a little bit. I was pretty confident on that one, um, but you can forget that video, I guess. Um, 
but I think that these boss metas are going to be an awesome addition to complete the 12, and that's going to be a great thing to cap off this pretty great storyline in my opinion. So thank you guys for watching this episode of DC TV Talk. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. It'll help me out a lot. And share this video with anyone and everyone you know who loves DC TV and get them to join the community. And as always, guys, please subscribe for all of your latest content on Supergirl, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow, and Black Lightning. And with all that said, I hope to see you guys again in my next video.